Understanding Thermal Properties of Matter Ever wondered why some materials feel colder than others, even when they're at the same temperature? Or how a simple thermometer works? Let's dive into the fascinating world of thermal properties and unlock the secrets behind heat, temperature, and how matter behaves. Temperature is a measure of the average kinetic energy of the particles within a substance. Think of it as how much the atoms and molecules are jiggling around. The faster they move, the higher the temperature. It's important to distinguish temperature from heat. Temperature is a measure of the average kinetic energy, while heat is the transfer of energy between objects at different temperatures. Heat is the transfer of thermal energy. Thermal energy is the total kinetic and potential energy of all the particles in a system. When you heat something, you're increasing its thermal energy. Heat always flows from a hotter object to a colder object until they reach thermal equilibrium. This means they have the same temperature. Imagine placing an ice cube in a glass of warm water. The ice melts as it absorbs heat from the water and the water cools down. Different materials require different amounts of heat to raise their temperature. This property is called specific heat capacity. It's the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of one gram of a substance by one degree Celsius or one Kelvin. Water has a high specific heat capacity, meaning it takes a lot of energy to heat it up. This is why coastal areas have more moderate temperatures than inland areas. The ocean absorbs a lot of heat during the day and releases it slowly at night. When substances are heated, their particles move faster and maintain a greater average separation. This leads to thermal expansion, where the substance increases in volume. This is why bridges have expansion joints. These gaps allow the bridge to expand and contract with temperature changes without causing damage. Similarly, bimetallic strips, made of two different metals with different expansion rates, are used in thermostats to control temperature. Heat can be transferred in three main ways, conduction, convection, and radiation. Each method plays a crucial role in how we experience and utilize heat. Conduction is the transfer of heat through direct contact. Think of a metal spoon heating up when placed in a hot cup of coffee. Convection involves the transfer of heat through the movement of fluids, liquids or gases. Boiling water is a great example as the hot water rises and the cooler water sinks. Radiation is the transfer of heat through electromagnetic waves. This is how the sun warms the earth. Matter can exist in three common phases, solid, liquid, and gas. Changing between these phases requires energy, even if the temperature remains constant. This energy is called latent heat. For example, melting ice requires latent heat of fusion. Boiling water requires latent heat of vaporization. These phase changes are essential in many natural processes and industrial applications. Understanding thermal properties is crucial in many fields. From designing efficient engines to developing new materials, these principles are fundamental. Engineers use thermal properties to design buildings that are energy efficient. Chefs use them to cook food perfectly. Scientists use them to study the universe. The applications are endless. Now that you've explored the fascinating world of thermal properties, you're equipped with a deeper understanding of how heat and temperature affect the world around you. Don't stop here. Dive deeper into specific topics like thermodynamics or heat transfer. Research real-world applications of these principles in engineering, cooking, or even meteorology. Share this video with your friends and classmates to spark their curiosity about the science of heat. And most importantly, leave a comment below with any questions you have or any other topics you'd like us to cover in future videos. Let's continue learning together.